Hello, and welcome to Unity Church on the Mountain from my home. The title of the talk today is The New Normal. But let's begin by affirming together our opening statement. There is only one presence and one power in my life and the universe, God. And let's take a deep breath right now. I invite you and release it. Just breathing. Allowing your attention to be on this moment right now. Let us affirm together our Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Leave us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And so, a new normal. Can there ever be a new normal? No, there can't. There never was a normal. One thing we know about this world that we live in, this relative world in which we find ourselves at birth, is that everything changes and nothing stays the same. But I've got a joke for you. There was a Zen Buddhist monk who approached a hot dog vendor on the street. The vendor said, what can I do for you? And the, the Buddhist monk said, make me one with everything. And so the hot dog vendor did his thing and fixed up this tremendous hot dog. And the monk handed him a $10 bill and for the, in exchange for the hot dog. And then uh, the hot dog vendor went to the next customer and said, what can I do for you? And the Buddhist monk said, well, what about my change? And in response to this, the hot dog vendor says, Oh, I thought you would know change comes from within. <laughs> okay. So change comes from within. Make me one with everything. I'd like to share with you a, a quote. And I'm going to paraphrase it because I don't have it written down in front of me. But this is from a Greek philosopher, pre-Socratic, so one of the very early Greek philosophers. His name's Heraclitus. And the quote goes something like this. You can never step into the same river twice because you are not the same and the river is not the same. And so... Let's think about that for a minute. This river being the flow of time, but not only the flow of time, the flow of, of our life experience through time. There are times in our life where things really seem to be wonderful. And if we look, there's also times in our life where we wonder how we got through it. And so we have this flow of our, our life experience moving through time. So this, is, this could be thought of as the river. And we can't step into the same river twice because we're not the same and the river is not the same. Because of our combined experience, because of our knowledge that we have, the wisdom that we've gained, we are not the same. 
we have changed. Our perspective on life is certainly different than it was at some earlier time in our life when we thought we had the normal. But there will never be a new normal. Those weren't the good times, but a good time. And the river continues to flow, and the water that's coming down the river now is not the same water that was coming down the river then. So not only have we changed, but even though the river flows in the same channel, it's a different river as well. One thing we know about life is that everything changes. Change, if you will, is the normal, has always been the normal, and will always be the normal. I'd like to share scripture with you. This comes from the book of Revelation. I think it's the first time I've shared from the book of Revelation. But it's a very short passage, so I'd like to read it for you. It comes from uh, Revelation chapter 21 and verse 5. And I'll be reading from the, the Lamsa translation. Behold, I make all things new. So this is Jesus speaking to John the Revelator. So John is writing down what he's hearing Jesus telling him. Now in unity we know that what is really meant here, it's the Christ presence speaking to him and through him. Behold, I make all things new. I make all things new. That's a present tense. We might even bring it to present perfect. I am making all things new. In this process, I am making all things new. There is nothing that stays the same because together, the Christ in me, the Christ in you, we are making all things new. And then the corollary to that, if we're not aware of our thoughts, we are also making things new. But we are making all things new. So there's this constant state of flux. But what is it that stays the same? Because there is one thing that stays the same in the middle and in the midst of this big, huge, constantly changing relative universe. What is the one absolute in all of this? And we say it in the opening statement. There is one presence and one power in my life and the universe. And that stays the same. And it is ours to give our trust in this presence. Because this presence is the good, all good. Goodness itself is God. We trust that all is in divine order that everything is unfolding in just the right and perfect way. That is the trust. When we put our trust in this, I would like for you to explore what happens as you say yes to God, as you say yes to the spiritual guidance that comes from the heart. Do you see that the entire universe opens a path to you, that your way becomes clear and the steps 
that are necessary for this path, your own unique path, are made known and are made possible, perhaps even easy. And that's not to say that there won't be work. That is unity's fifth principle. I'd like to share with you another scripture from the Lamsa translation. This one's in the Old Testament, in the book of Isaiah, in chapter 26, verses 3 and 4. Thou wilt keep us, thou, being God, being that Christ presence within us. Thou wilt keep us in perfect peace, for in thee we have trusted, O Lord, forever and ever. For the Lord God is an everlasting strength. We have always held that trust. That almost seems a contradiction. But it is this trust that's the base of the presence. It is this trust, whether we are aware of it or not, that allows us to continue in life. And it is this presence that is always available to us. Always available to us. That gives us the strength to abide through whatever the change is. And that is the new normal. And it's the old normal. Because in this relative, constantly changing world, there is no normal. The only normal is change. But when we go to the presence and experience the absolute, the one presence and one power that's always at the center of everything, including ourselves, there, we can find the strength to abide in the new normal, in whatever is going on around us. We have this presence constantly available to us. And so that's the invitation right now. The invitation is to take a deep breath, to look within, in this present moment, for the peace that comes from that trust in the one presence, in the one power. The tranquil center in the eye of the storm that is this one presence. And let this be the new normal. Allow it. This presence is always there with us. It's always been there, and it is going nowhere. It is not leaving us, and there's no place we can go where we can leave the presence. We can turn our back on the presence. We can ignore the presence. Or we can be aware of this presence in our life in everything we do. And this is constant prayer. This is to pray without ceasing, to maintain this awareness of the presence in our life. And when we're in that awareness of the presence, it doesn't matter what is happening in the changing relative world. In sign in the center of our being is the still and calm peace that comes from this trust. And it is our strength in whatever the change that we are experiencing may be. And our world is ready to give us plenty of opportunities to feel its turbulence. And each of those 
instances where we're feeling chaos in this world, where we're feeling the injustice of it, where we're feeling the trouble that comes from this change. These are our opportunities to take a deep breath, to bring ourselves to the present moment. Right now, right here, I am okay. Right now, right here, I have the one presence and the one power holding me up, lifting me, and giving me strength. And I can do what is mine to do. And watch the universe open up a way. It is inevitable. Don't take my word for it. Don't believe what I say. Try it for yourself. Have that experience and know as you move forward through this world that there is always this new normal and it's always with you. But it doesn't lie out there. It is right here and it is with you all the time. Experience this trust. Experience this peace and this strength for yourself. Thank you so much for joining me today.